So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I just got home from work a little bit ago and I wanted to get started digging this trench for the electric line for the new building. I'm just trying to get an idea how long this is going to take. I'm already into some pretty hard digging right here. I'll show you what I have going on. I'm already into uh, some pretty competent shale. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not like solid sand rock or limestone or anything like that. And once you cut through it, it comes out in pieces like this. But even this type of rock right here, for a little backhoe like this, it takes a little bit of time. Alright, so I'm digging this about 30 inches deep, give or take. Plus, when this is done, there'll be about uh, 5 or 6 inches of stone on top of this. You know, with the Gia textile down first, and then the stone. I'm going to get a load of fill sand, which is uh, real cheap, and use that for backfilling, you know, above the conduit for the electric line. And then I'm going to put another conduit in above that, a little bit more sand, and then some uh, tape. I'll put some tape in there in case I'm ever digging in here again. Hopefully I'll remember that it's there. But that's the plan for this trench right here. And it's going to work out pretty good with the fill sand. Because I need some of this shale right here around the other side of the building. I need some fill over there. And I'm going to generate quite a bit of it uh, with this little backhoe. But I'm just getting started right now. Like I said, I didn't have much time tonight. But I just want to kind of get a read on how long this is going to take. I think this hard shale is going to kind of go away a little bit. I mean, I'll get into it down through here some but uh it's going to be a little bit deeper i believe i think it'll get i think the digging will get a lot easier we'll have to see now many of you are probably wondering why i don't rent a little trencher for this project now a trencher is a great little tool but for what i'm doing i prefer using the backhoe and i mentioned a couple reasons already but i want a little bit wider trench i'm putting uh, multiple conduits in the same trench i'll be using fill sand for backfill then I'll use the material that I'm digging out for fill on that side of the building. Plus, when I get down closer to the road, I'm going to be digging through a lot of roots and things. I'd rather have the backhoe for that. For me, on this little job, I'd rather use the backhoe. Plus, there are several other reasons as well. You know, like I said, I just got home a little bit ago. I've got maybe another 20 minutes or a half hour tops before it gets dark. I can only work in, you know, one or two hour increments between my real job and everything we have going on around here. So if I were to rent a trencher... I'd probably have to rent it for a week. You know, if I had a good 8 to 10 hours or something, a free open Saturday, maybe a trencher would be a good idea. But I still think I prefer the backhoe. Plus, you have to factor in, you know, you got to go get it. You got to pay for it. You got to return it. You know, all that takes time. So say it takes me, you know, 8 hours to dig this entire trench with that BX23S. If I had to rent a, tr rent a trencher and it did it in half the time, let's say... Well, I got a couple hours and going and getting it, bringing it back. Plus, I'm going to have to keep it all week long because, like I said, I work an hour here, an hour there, things like that. But anyway, I'm going to get back to work right now. We'll see how much more we get done, and then I'll have kind of an idea of how long this little project should take. We'll take a little more out of there with the uh, backhoe now, and then I'll bring that 90-degree sweep out, and we'll see how that's going to shake out.
that's going to be pretty good right about there. All right, we have uh, Melissa and grandson Ty here. Woo! Ty's all bundled up, he's got his work boots on, ready to go. If you saw the last video, uh, Ty's warming up to me just a little bit. He let me hold him there for a bit. <laughs> I think he might be falling asleep, Melissa. <laughs> I don't think he can move very well. Yeah, he's bundled he's up pretty good. Bundled up. But it is cold. It's uh, pretty chilly. 41. 41 degrees. Thanksgiving's this week. We're pretty excited about that. Deer season. Yep. Should be a good week. That's right. You worn out today from Melissa? <laughs> Been busy. Yeah, she's had Ty. He uh, usually one night a week. Well, I'm gonna dig uh, for another 15, 20 minutes, but it's gonna take a while to get all the way down there. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty hard right underneath that top. Is side. that right? Yeah, it's that hard shale. Yeah. Tell you what, it's actually getting uh, harder. This is what it's coming out like now. I'm, be I'm still able to peel it out of there, but the further I go that direction, the harder it's getting. I still think once I crest over a little bit, the digging will get a little bit easier. I'm not quite as deep as I wanted to be, but it'll be just fine. I mean, I'm putting it in three inch conduit with uh, fill sand for backfill, and then, like I said, there'll be stone geo over top of all of this uh, when it's done. So it'll be good. I was just hoping to go a little bit deeper, but with that backhoe right there, it would take, uh, I'd need a bigger machine, I would. That rock's getting pretty hard. But anyway, obviously uh, this little project here is gonna be continued. So like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, 
please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.